So here I am again, back to talk about Super Mario Odyssey. I, I, I made a video about this, um, just thinking off the top of my head, uh, about this game when it was, uh, originally announced. Everybody knew we had a mainstream Mario game coming, all with the announcement of the Nintendo Switch, featuring a bit of footage in the, um, you know, tra tra you see that right there? Yep. And, um, when the Switch had its big Nintendo Direct back in January of this year, they showed a full trailer of the upcoming game, Mario Odyssey, which I dissected a bit and tended to talk about. Tended to? That's, that's the whole point of it! So I talked about how great I thought it looked and how excited I was, but I had one thing in mind, and you'd probably remember it as a... Uh, I got to go to the eight levels to get the, to defeat the final boss and then save the princess who's been kidnapped by Bowser again! Yeah, that's, um, that's what I was concerned about, because, um, you know, every Mario game is basically the same story that can be swapped out and just add a bit of space here, add a, bi add a bit of a tropical resort here. It's not that, not that hard. Um, Mario Odyssey, from what I could see, had one or two cinematic moments in its trailer, and I was kind of hoping it'd be a more story-driven game, because, um, I'm sick of telling pe I'm sick of people telling me that um Mario ain't got no progression and what was I thinking comparing it to Dragon Ball? Like no, like I mean maybe Sonic a little bit more, but it kinda stopped being progressive after Unleashed. Stay tuned for my Sonic Forces video. Uh, at the end of the trailer they showed Mario's cap growing eyes and <laughs> I'm sort of certain it was inspired by um corruption glitch in the original Mario 64. That I'm not sure if it could happen on consoles, but it was able to be created via sta save states and uh, cheat codes via Project 64. Maybe it's possible if you tilted the cartridge. I don't know. That um changed the texture on Mario's hat to um appear as um Mario's eyes, and that's the first thing I immediately thought of when I saw um the eyes on Mario's hat coming E3 20 um. Seven, seven, why Why do I need a stutter like this? I know when E3 was. Like, we had all sorts of things. A new Spider-Man game, a new Xbox console. What could possibly top it? Oh yeah! Nintendo's Mario game could possibly never... You know what happened. Yeah, that was the best thing at E3. Beautiful scenery, and then... Oh my god, a T-Rex! 10 out of 10. All you needed was a T-Rex. Not only was this trailer miles better than the other, but we got such a sweet, sweet... Dude, jeez, I'm still listening to this to the, to this day. So are many others. I doubt this game would have voice acting like Mario Sunshine, but if it's anything like Breath of the Wild, it might have a little bit. And um, Pauline, the character previously known for being Mario's ex-girlfriend and constant kidnappy of Donkey Kong, is one of the main characters of this game, which is pretty good because I'd like to see more older Mario characters being utilized. Who just happens to be voiced by Kate Higgins of all play- Tails, seriously, what happened to you since 2010? Joking aside, it's possible we might have some, if not any. Story-wise, I'm pretty confident it'll be more progressive than previous games. Probably not that much more than Mario Galaxy 1, but who knows, we might be lucky. Gameplay? Oh boy. The eyes on Mario's cap were revealed to be a new character, Cappy. Well, he's a ghost. Ooh, I think. Maybe not. Giving Mario the ability of capturing enemies, like, ugh, oh, the memes everywhere of Mario possessing people like a ghost! It's October. Spooky scary to skeletons. Spooky scary skeletons and shivers down your spine. But, um, to be fair, the mechanic is actually quite useful, manipulating the abilities of enemies and objects around you. Is, a, is something I haven't seen since, um, well, actually, no, I don't think I've seen that in many games. I do remember there was a code in the, uh, debug Ocarina of Time ROM that allowed you to possess enemies and walk around as them. Speaking of N64 ROMs, um, Hacker K's and on the spot made a Mario 64 hack that gives you this ability. I'm honestly stunned. The levels look amazing, the graphics are fantastic, the music is amazing, and I'm, I'm pretty sure this game will have me costume hunting like in flipping Breath of the Wild. There's not much I can really say about this game. You've seen the overview trailers, you've seen gameplay footage, you know you're gonna be buying this, you know it's worth the money, you know it's worth your Switch. Like, this game has had a long time to develop, 
We've known it's been around for a while. We've, we've been waiting desperately. We've seen how far it's developed be between its original trailer and now. Like, Game Explained did a video on that. You can just take a look at that. Honestly, I think this is... I think this is the Mario game we've been waiting for. Who knows, it might not even be as story-driven as I'm hoping it to be, but it's Mario. Does it really need to be? I love the look of it, I love everything, I can't express it, and... <laughs> I think this is gonna be one of the games that makes people wanna buy more Switches. And, um, with GameCube compatibility restored to the Switch... Thank you, I need a reason to use my GameCube adapter other than PC and Smash Bros. And hopefully we're getting a Smash Bros port or GameCube emulation, am I right, people? <laughs> well, all I can say is this. Here we go! Have a fun time with some 